Hey everybody, it's Runaway June, and this is our Women of iHeart Country Ask Anything chat. Our new album, Blue Roses, is out, and we wanted to say thank you to Amy for having us on the show this week. Thank you, Amy. We love you. <laughs> Shy okay. Kick it off. Kick it off, Hannah. All right. Julia from Combermere, Canada. Oh. Combermere? Um, what advice would you give to fans who are struggling? So many people use your music as a form of therapy. Your advice means the world. Well, that's really sweet. Nice. We also use music for therapy. Mm -hmm. um, so it's always good to know that absolutely anything that you're going through, other people have gone through it too. And normally they've written a song about it. So there's a song out there for everything to help you through it. Oh yeah. That's true. Sarah from Lansing, Michigan is asking, do people get you confused with other female groups? They've gotten you us and with Maddie and yeah. Jay. Um, yeah, actually, that's in happened Vegas. a lot. One time, this lady saw me and Hannah multiple times in Vegas and took multiple pictures with us. And she was like, oh, I just want a picture with you guys. And then I think the third time, she was like, my, my daughter loves Maddie and Tay. She's going to be so surprised. Really? And we were like, oh, yeah. she is going to be surprised <laughs> when she sees these pictures. Anytime we're without Jen, they think we're mad. Yeah, yep, yep. Um, OK, <laughs> Angie from Arlington, Virginia. Who would you do a CMT crossword show with? Oh, that's cool. Mm, Whoa. Mm, mm. Like, I have so many ideas, but I think Hannah would love Cheryl Crow. That would be, we'd all love Cheryl Crow, but Hannah, that's her person. Um, Naomi would love Allison Krauss. Um, mm -hmm. And I would love Patty Griffin. But isn't crossroads supposed to be like not country, right? Like a totally different person? Well, Allison yeah. Krauss is bluegrass. Oh, that's country too. Yeah. We can pick anyone. Those are good. I'll go with those. Yeah. I'm going to touch cross country. Okay. Cross country. Uh, Victoria from Fresno, name a perk of being on the carry tour. Uh, the whole thing is a perk. Um, everyone there is really nice. The catering is very good. Um, they have vegan food in catering since mm -hmm. Carrie also eats vegan. So that to me is a personal perk that I love. Monica from Charlotte, North Carolina. Describe the tour bus. What additions did you make to it to make it feel like home? Um, we have lots of wine. Feels very homey. We have scented candles. Um, our own uh, pillows. We have our own pillows. I bring my own bedding. That that always helps. And uh, it it feels like home. But we've we've just been on it so much. We try not to bring like too much stuff. I think keeping it clean because there's so many people on the bus makes it feel a lot more comfortable. We're on it more than we're home, so it feels like yeah. home because it is our home. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna bring my salt lamp. Um, my salt rock lamps. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, Demi from Greenville, South Carolina. Did you get to keep the clothes you wore on the album cover? Yes, mm -hmm. we did get to keep them. And I don't think that I've worn that since, but now that you reminded me, maybe I'll bring it back out. <laughs> Speaking of clothes, uh, Gina from Rockersville, Virginia, wants to know, do your clothes get all mixed up on the tour bus? Um, no, we kind of each have our like little sections where we keep our clothes, um, so it's organized chaos back there. <laughs> Tracy from Portland, Oregon, our favorite city, yes. one of them. Do you all live near each other in Nashville? Yeah, we do. Um, Nashville's actually kind of smaller than you would think. Um, Hannah and Jen live the closest, but we're all in a pretty tight radius. Doesn't take long to get to any of our houses. Yeah. Um, okay, Nadine from Birmingham, Alabama. If you could cover any rock song for fun, what would it be? I wanna rock and roll all night. That'd be mine. Pour some shit on me. I've said before I want to cover that one in our show. I would love that. That would be fun. And go yeah. into Shania. Mm -hmm. Call my star. It's falling yeah. apart. There's your answer. <laughs> there you go. We answered for her. Uh, William from Reno. How did you guys meet? We met in Nashville. We're all songwriters, so we met through the songwriting circle in Nashville. Um, and after we three got together, we became a band and hit the road running pretty quickly after that. So yeah, but in the writer's room. Eddie from Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock. Lubbock. Who designed the album cover? Love it. Thank you so oh, much, sweet. Eddie. I painted those roses. We all designed it together, but Hannah did the the roses, the art, the um the all the roses, the blue roses that you see. She drew them. She's an excellent artist. Painted those. She's um, amazing. But, but one of the CC what's CC's last name? Dawson. CC Dawson. She helped put it all together, helped, but we designed the cover along with uh, some very creative people on our team who helped. All right. 
Uh, Sunny from Chattanooga, Tennessee. What sport do you play that we would be impressed by? That's funny. Well, I was was a tennis pro. Yeah, pretty impressive. Growing up, but that keyword being was, and golf is my current obsession now. Whoa, this is a long one. Okay, Sophie from State College. Calm Um, down, Sophie. With the country charts being heavily male influenced, how does it feel not only being a female act firmly uh, entrenched on the chart, but to be so new and still pull it off? That's some Spice Girl right there. Girl oh, power. Which Sophie, loves. I really dig your vibe, Sophie. Yeah. Um, first of all, Spice Girls are my favorite, so that's awesome. I often <laughs> say that I want us to be like the Spice Girls. We each got a different flavor. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. There's certainly a lot of dudes around us on the chart. So to be one of the few that kind of stand out as the females, I think it's us and like one other, I think it's just us and Marin right, right now in the top 20. And Kelsey I think. and Carrie. Is Carrie in the top 20 now? Yeah, Carrie! Awesome. Southbound. So, you know, but just to be surrounded by, by awesome females like that is just, it's so cool. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Kristen from Toledo, Ohio. Toledo. Toledo? When you start a tour, does the tour bus pick you up outside of your house? Or do you meet it somewhere? We meet it. Um, it's just easier. It's, we, we meet it this uh, at a place where we can all get food, and then we just, it's a lot easier for it because we have band guys and a lot of other people that ride the bus. So we It'd all. would be a lot of houses to stop at. That would be a lot would of houses. Be. There are Maybe eight one day. On our bus, when, so. it's, when, when us girls just have a tour bus, probably we'll have them pick us up at the house. Who knows? Okay, Sandra from Rockford, Illinois. What non country artist do you listen to the most? Oh my gosh. Um, well, uh, Harry Styles is one that y'all listen to a lot, right? Is that is he from One Direction? I just like yep. his, I like his face. Mm-hmm. That's what I like by Harry Styles. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say for me, I listen to um, Fleetwood Mac and Patty Griffin probably the most. That's a good one. Um, Allison from Des Moines. Uh, last thing you ordered online. What is Ooh, the juicy. last thing I ordered online? Talk dishes. about your, think, shop, your online shopping addiction. Yeah. Anna? Dishes. What is it? Your boots, your sparkly boots. No, the, the, the last book? thing. Boots? Oh, no, I ordered dishes since then. Oh, darn you it. You heard it here first. Yeah, uh, Pottery Barn is having a killer sale, so I ordered <laughs> some new dishes. <laughs> Peter from Bristol, what's your go-to pose when you're taking pictures with fans? It's a, it's, you can never catch her. <laughs> A run. It's a moving, moving pose. All angles. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know how you say your Daya? name. Daya, Daya or Daya from Buffalo, New York. Either one, that's a cool name. What's the first website you look at every morning? Huh. I don't think that. Maybe oh, website or website? app maybe they mean? Like. Yeah, because I don't really look at websites in the morning, but um, I have an app called Jesus Calling, and uh, every morning that's the first thing I look at on my phone. It's an app, and... Um, kind of centers me and I say my little readings and prayers and drink coffee. Um, Val from KC. Uh, Jennifer, my dad is a huge fan of your grandpa. I'm still answering this, by the way. (laughs) And was excited when I told him who you were. Did your dad ever tell you stories about him when you were young? It's funny, people always assume it's your dad. Yeah. You never assume it's your mom. Um, It's her mom. And yeah, you have a lot of stories. You can you can actually answer it. I'm just kidding. Why don't you tell one? <laughs> a funny story of Jen's is <laughs> no, she does have like a lot of stories because her grandma's still alive, so she gets a lot of stories from her grandma, and she gets to watch him on movies. Which a lot of people who have grandparents that passed away, you don't necessarily get that, but you kind of have like a stronger memory of your grandpa than probably either of us because you get to see him all the time. Right. So, yeah. Well, we can't thank iHeart enough and Amy for having us on this weekend to talk about our album, Blue Roses. We're so excited to see you guys on the road, and we can't wait to hear what you think about the record. Thanks again, iHeart and Amy, and thank you guys for your questions. We love you.